welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about single source shortest path algorithm in the subject of design and analysis of algorithms so before um, getting into this algorithm i hope you guys already uh, understood what is the concept of greedy algorithm by now so this single source uh, shortest path algorithm is one of the application uh, in the greedy algorithm like we have the minimum cost spanning tree right so similar to that we have one more algorithm and this is also called as uh algorithm i am sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong but it's fine you just have to rem if, if you can just recognize that that word it is enough okay so here the name itself says that you have a single source okay and you will have to find out the shortest path from that single source okay shortest path to where to all the other remaining vertices in the graph whatever remaining vertices you have in the graph to all those other vertices you have to find out what is the shortest path from the single source so the source vertex will be fixed okay so you will have the source vertex fixed and from this source vertex you will have to find what is the shortest path to all the other vertices existing in the graph okay i'll explain you with an example don't worry uh, don't get confused uh, trust me this is one of the simplest algorithm that you will have in the subject no complicated calculations no complicated formulas nothing very simple okay another thing we have here is it is applied on directed and weighted graphs only in graphs we have different types we have directed graphs we have uh, undirected graphs we have weighted graphs unweighted graphs we have cyclic so many different types right in that uh, this algorithm will be particularly applicable only to directed as well as weighted graphs what do you mean by directed suppose we have a graph let's say one two three four a very simple graph okay so in this graph if you apply directions that this node is going from the here to here this is coming from here to here this is coming from like this if you have those directions specified in form of these arrow marks then it is called as a directed graph then what do you mean by weighted graph if you have any weight associated with each and every edge let's say here this is an edge right for this edge let's say we have weight as 5 for this we have weight as 6 for this we have weight as 10 so these are called as weights okay so if if you have these weights then only it is a weighted graph otherwise it is a unweighted graph or a non-weighted graph or whatever it is so it is applicable only for directed as well as weighted graphs clear now let's go into the example so this is the example problem that we are going to be discussing as part of this video so this is basically a graph what did i tell you it has to be a weighted graph and it has to be a directed graph right so it has weights it has 30 10 20 all these are weights yes it is a weighted graph and it also has directions in form of the arrow marks so it is a directed graph as well okay so now you can happily go ahead and apply apply your uh, minimum cost spanning tree algorithm over here okay cool now let's get started so first what did we think we have to have one source vertex and from that source vertex we have to find out the minimum cost to all the other remaining vertices so in this example let us assume that this one this vertex one as a source vertex okay so your source vertex will be vertex one and what are your destination vertices all the remaining two three four five six seven whatever remaining vertices are in the graph those all are your destinations okay so here we have a table a simple table now what is our selected vertex at first our selected vertex is one because we are starting from one so visited set at this point you don't have any other vertex in consideration except for the vertex one so you're taking visited set as one okay now see from one where you can go you can go to either six or you can go to either two okay for going to two what is the cost it is 10 so in d of two you will write 10 d is nothing but destination okay here you will write 10 from one to six what is the cost 30 go ahead and write 30 over here so to the remaining vertices you don't have any 
path you don't have any direct path you might go through other nodes but for now you can't have you can't go to the other vertices from one right so all the other vertices you will have to put it as infinity okay you don't know the cost yet maybe in the future you will know it okay now from one you went to two and six among two and six which is having the minimum cost it's two right so next you your selected vertex will become two and your set will become one comma two okay now from one now what is your selected vertex it's two right so from two where you can go you can go only to one plus that is three okay from two to three what is the cost it is 20 okay so from two to three the cost is 20 but already the one to two cost is 10 right this cost is fixed so it will become 10 plus 20 that means it is not just 2 to 3 it is like from 1 you are going to 2 and then from 2 you are going to 3 so that is why you will have to consider the cost from 1 to 2 and then 2 to 3 okay clear next do you have any other paths no so you just take the 6 this one as it is and others will be same infinities again okay so now see you have 10 here you have 30 here you have 30 here okay 10 is already visited uh, that is why i circled it that means you don't have to consider it anymore now you have this one and you have this one so among these two which one you're going to pick you'll have to pick this one because this is the first occurrence both of them are having the same cost 30 and 30 but you have to pick this one since it is the first occurrence so your next vertex would be three okay and your set would be one comma two comma three okay now see from three where you can go you have two options from three you can go from three to four you can go from three to five so this will be 10 fixed and this will be 30 which is fixed why am, I, why am I circling 30 because I have already visited 3 right that is why so from from 3 to 4 what is the cost 15 but what is the cost till 3 it is 30 plus 15 now from 3 to 5 what is the cost 5 what is the cost till now it is 30 so 30 plus 5 and this is going to be the same 30 okay and this will be infinity again now see now you have 30 plus 15 which is 45 you have 35 and then you have 30 so this is 45 this is 35 and this is 30 as it is which is smaller obviously this is smaller so what will be your next selected vertex it will be 6 so your set will be 1 2 3 6 now let's see okay I guess now you can see the entire paper okay fine so here again this 10 is fixed this 30 is fixed again this 30 is also fixed now because you have already visited 6 so from 6 where you can go from 6 you have only one option which is 7 okay so what is the cost from 6 to 7 it is 30 so what is the cost till now it is already 30 so it will be 30 plus 35 which is 65 and you can take these two as it is okay this will be the same 45 and this will be the same 35 okay this step is done now going to the next step among 45 35 and 65 which is minimum 35 is minimum right so 35 means which node node number 5 so 5 and what is will be your set 1 2 3 6 and then 5 your 10 will be same your 30 will be same this 30 will be same this 35 will be same because you are visiting 5 in this round okay now next from 5 what are the options you have from 5 you have only one option and that is 7 okay so from 5 to 7 you have that is the only option you have so this one right so till 5 what is the cost already it is 35 35 plus 7 which is equal to 42 and you can write this 45 as it is now okay go to the next step okay now 
you got to go to the next step in the next step you have to compare this 42 and this 45 which is minimum again 42 is minimum so what will be your next vertex 7 will be your next vertex so 1 2 3 6 5 and 7 okay so 10 fixed 30 fixed 45 35 is fixed 30 is fixed so now in this iteration this 42 is also fixed so from 7 can you go anywhere else no okay so from 7 you can't go anywhere else and uh, what is the only vertex which is remaining 45 so next 45 so 1 2 3 um, and then 6 5 7 4 it will be 10 it will be 30 it would be 45 it would be 35 30 and 42 okay so this is your matrix or table or whatever it is so from this table you can easily identify what is the minimum cost to each and every vertex so what is the source vertex one so from source vertex one to two what is the cost 10 from one to three the cost would be 30 from one to four it would be 45 from one to five it would be 35 from 1 to 6 it would be 30 and from 1 to 7 it would be 45 42 what are all these all these are minimum costs okay you can have other costs as well other maximum costs as well but minimum costs are these things okay if you want to check we can check also from 1 to 7 according to our table what is the minimum cost 42 right let's check from the graph how can you go from 1 to 7 here you have 1 here you have 7 okay first path is 30 plus 35 which is 65 okay and the second path is 10 plus 20 30 30 plus 15 is 45 45 plus 20 is 65 again okay next path 10 to 20 is 30 30 to 5 is 35 35 to 7 is 35 plus 7 42 okay that means this is only the minimum path 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 5 5 2 7 that means you have other paths as well you have other paths where you can reach 7 you have other two paths as well but among all the paths which are possible among all the routes which are possible which is whichever is minimum that one we are selecting okay this is about single source shortest path problem if you guys still have any questions about this algorithm let me know in the comment section and also if you have any recommendations you have any other video recommendations for me from me uh, you have you want me to explain any other subjects or something just let me know everything in the comment section thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic